We just cross the fence here and enter the wash. If we find here in the wash both the 1.7 billion year old rocks and the 540 million year old rocks, we're in the right place. Let's see if we can make them out. And sure enough, well, here we have side by side, left side, the 1.7 billion year old rock, a Precambrian meta sediment, and on the right side, the 545 million year old Cambrian rock, a red tapid sandstone. And if you look up now, we can make out some outcroppings. Barely recognizable are the red bands of the tapid sandstone, the 545 million year old Cambrian rock. On the left side, it looks like it could be a Precambrian 1.7 billion year old outcropping. Okay, let's keep going. Well, we just reached one of the outcroppings, and indeed, it's the 1.7 billion year old rock, the Precambrian meta sediment. We might make out the red bands of the 545 million year old rock, the Tapid sandstone. So, it looks in good company here. I moved up the valley a little bit, see if you have some more luck up here to see the transition or the great unconformity. And I think we're in pretty good shape here. At least I see some dark outcroppings, I see some light brown outcroppings, not much space in between. But actually the dark outcropping goes all the way up towards the horizon there too, so let's give it a shot. Well, we've climbed up quite a bit here from the valley. But I think we're pretty close to where we want to be. And just looking around, here you see the outcroppings there. The Precambrian meta sediment. Nice and schists. If you come here, we just see them on the right in front of us. But this brown stuff next to it, that's all talus sandstone so we must be very close if not on top of the great unconformity looking around a little bit again here is the meta sediment precambrian looking around here just my knee gave away a little bit not a good place to do that and if you look here Gee, that looks like a sandstone outcropping. Let's look at it closer. Sure enough, it's sandstone, it's Cambrian. And if you look here, about 15, 20 feet across, you see the outcropping of the meta sediment. So the great unconformity must be someplace around here. Here I'm walking along the unconformity. Over here is the meta sediment, Precambrian. Over here is the Cambrian sandstone. Well, it gets even better. You see it again on the left side here. Over here, the Precambrian meta sediment. Right next to it, like here, you see the red Cambrian sandstone. Only 1.2 billion years difference in between. If you look at the bedding planes of the meta sediment, it's much steeper dropping down. The sandstone is kind of at a shallow angle sticking out here, so it's a angular unconformity. Well, here the same thing from a different angle. You see the red sandstone up front here. You see the meta sediment in the back sticking out here. And it goes all the way across. A kind of yellowish brown. All the way across here. Yellowish brown. The meta sediment, Precambrian. The red sandstone on the side, red Cambrian. Sandstone.
down. You can see it in the back. You can see nicely. On the west side here is the motor sediment. On the other side here, sandstone. It's all the way up here. We have outcrops up there, so it's a very short distance. Somewhere here, probably just on top of the matter sediment, is the great unconformity. And you got a pretty decent view into now Arizona.